Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And so we can take a look at the cards, we can get a sense of the energies for the month to help guide you. And hopefully some of this will resonate. Again, it's a general reading, so take what does. Leave the rest, as many say. And uh, let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. So very interesting Pisces right off the bat that there are no major cards within your spread right here. No major arcana that we are dealing with things on a daily grinding level perhaps in June. So we start with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles brings forth this motherly nurturing type of energy. So whether this is someone within your circle, an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, she is holding on to that pentacle and she is enjoying what she has, what she has built. She's very capable, very resourceful. So in June, it may be in your best interest to be resourceful and to spend time in nature and to mind your investments, mind your activity levels of what you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to do. And the Queen of Pentacles is considerate. She's nurturing. And she's the type of person that would be checking in with you to see, you know, if you were under the weather, to see how you were feeling. So, again, could be qualities that you would benefit from. It could be certainly someone within your circle. So then we have this Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords, you see this oarsman is um, rowing here, or, or you know, rowing this person and the child in the boat on the water, and they're leaving the rougher waters for smoother waters. And this is really a transition card. This is a card about you've probably had enough You've dealt with what you've need to deal, deal, deal with, and you're going to move on, and you're going to get to a better place, because that's ultimately your goal, is to get to a better place. So whether it's relationships that have not been fulfilling for you, or jobs, or locations, you know, you've reached the point where you've parked your behind in the boat, and you are leaving. That's it. You're moving on. It's a power, powerful thing to do, to transition, to give yourself an opportunity to get to these smoother waters. It takes a lot of, uh, takes a lot of courage to do that. So then we have the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles is the, uh, man skipping or dancing and, and juggling juggling life, all that life has to offer, all the busyness that we have, the obligations, the financial obligations, the personal obligations, the relationship obligations, the relationships with children, with lovers, with colleagues, everything, trying to find the balance and the balance with our money, of our resources. And so life isn't always easy, thus the rough water here in the back and you got to find a way to to make it work so that you don't drop 
the pentacles. And so this could be telling you to, to maybe focus on an area, um, to really be aware of activities that, you're, that are going on in your life. You may be busy. This could suggest busyness. So we have this little section here with these pentacles, a lot of earth energy. And that earth energy, along with the, the balance of finances of life, here's the knight of pentacles standing on his horse. They're, sitting, he's just, they're just stable and they're holding on to the pentacle and he's observing the fields. So he's out on his land and he's observing his land. He's doing the hard work. He is working hard. He's loyal. He'd be a great team leader. He's devoted, may not be the flashiest person that you might be meeting in June, but he's solid. He's dependable. This is dependable energy, slow moving, probably conservative, but is able to manage money, is able to look out after money, is probably in a good place and a job to make money. So here we have this queen of nurturing abundance in nature. We have balance and we have studying, planning, protecting, earning money and resources in your life. A grounded, pragmatic, maybe not the most exciting energy, but dedicated and loyal. We have a little bit more of that over here with the Page of Pentacles, which is again, seeking knowledge, being devoted and studious and gaining this knowledge. So, you know, a, a lot of uh, pentacle energy here. But June has some celebrations for you with the Four of Wands and some chance perhaps to let your hair down. This could be attending an a anniversary party, retirement party, wedding, engagement party, showers. I mean, this is a time for people to celebrate and to recognize milestones. And for this couple here that are going through the four wands, it's freedom, perhaps it's a new path away from the homestead. And that is, uh, it's a chance to really to get together with people and to have fun, to celebrate. So we have a lot of this grounded energy. We have moving away from a, a situation. You've probably moved away after, after studying it and after really thinking about it. You might have even had to have defend your ideas here with the nine of wands, which is uh, this fire sign, this fire energy. And this is about protecting yourself. This is about uh, being ready for whatever's coming. He's looking out over uh, over his shoulder there. He's like, give me what you got. I'm not, I'm not laying this wand down. I'm standing. I've got the grit, the determination. I'm going to keep muddling through and defending myself regardless if I'm, if I'm tired or exhausted or beaten up. You know, I'm not ready to stand down. So I always get a sense here that you're protecting yourself either you know, you feel that maybe something is coming where you're going to have to do that. So with this queen of swords, this queen of swords, <laughs> she is, uh, she has a lot of power and she has that sword straight up ready to make a decision, ready to problem solve, ready to tell you the truth that you may not want to hear because she's blunt. She's clear in her communication. It may come off to you as critical, but this is a sense of someone who is laying it out, the facts, the intellectual side of a situation to you. Now, whether this is you explaining it to someone else or you're receiving this advice from the Queen of Swords, 
Don't be put off by how blunt she is. Don't be put off with how direct she is because that is, uh, it's not an emotion, not an emotional approach. It's an intellectual, it's a rational, a logical approach. That she is someone who is, knows the facts inside and out and, able, and is able to make a fair decision. So whether this is someone that you are getting advice from, they're going to tell it like it is to you. They're going to deliver the message. It may feel brutal. It may feel difficult, but they're really going to tell you what you need to hear without any fluff. So what's missing from this reading is we have wands. <coughs> we have a, lots of pentacles and we have swords. We don't have cups in this reading. So it's a, it's a month where you have a lot going on in terms of activities and responsibilities that you're trying to balance. And you have a lot of focus on planning, planning, studying, researching, and being resourceful in the moves that you make. And really having to have the knowledge here gain that knowledge and to study a situation. After you've studied it, it may very well be that you're going to say, I'm moving to something else. I'm going to transition. I'm going to get to this clearer water. And that clearer water is going to uh, give me opportunities. So, we see a lot of people in this reading. We see a queen, a knight, two queens, and then the page. So there's a lot of people could be in your ear in June. So think about that as well, that you could be dealing with a lot of people. So let's take a look at cards for love. It says, calling your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So calling in your soulmate. Well, uh, you have to put yourself in a position to meet people if you are pursuing a soulmate. And um, you have to believe that everything is possible. So that's interesting. And again, no cups within this reading. And so I think that maybe this is, you know, maybe you're laying the groundwork to get to this position. Let's choose another card as a meditation or a focus point for the month as well. So this says, don't hate, meditate. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to love through meditation. So it sounds like meditation is something that will benefit you. And if you don't do so already, there are many different ways to meditate. You can look online. You can find YouTube videos to meditate with. You could, um, you know... Uh, speak to some friends that do so to get some helpful hints, but it is a nice way to feel restored and to uh, bring some peace within your life. So I think that's helpful. So Pisces, this is your reading for June. I hope that you found something helpful here with this. I hope that something resonated. If it did and you uh, haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe like, share, or comment. It's a great way to show support and to um, be a part of our community. And I wish you a fantastic June, and I hope that I will see you again. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.